Hello, this is uh, kind of an unusual video for my channel. I decided to make a little bit of an educational video about the mandolin family of instruments. You know, oftentimes, most mandolin players get questions all the time. Oh, the mandolin was a very popular instrument in the 1920s in the United States. Uh, mostly it's the bluegrass crowd that understands or, is a, or appreciates what a mandolin is these days in the United States. So anyway, I thought I would show, the mandolin is actually a family of instruments, and I thought I would take some of my instruments and do a little educational video about the mandolin family. So that's what follows. Thanks. Okay, here you have, looking at in this shot of the video uh, from the farther range, you have all the members of the typical members of the mandolin family. You have here on the, on the uh, uh, right-hand side, of the uh, uh, of the picture, your left hand side, I guess, uh, is the um, the uh, mandolin, that uh, the smallest member of the family. It's tuned exactly like a violin, G D A E, and um, uh, is very popular these days in bluegrass music. As I mentioned, it's one of the four main instruments in a bluegrass band. In the 20s, there were whole orchestras based on the mandolins, and the mandolins in that case would have filled the same position as the violins do in, the regu in a regular uh, violin orchestra, or an uh, orchestra based on violins. Uh, the second uh, instrument is a mandola. This is tuned down a fifth from the mandolin, so it's C, G, D, A. So three strings are the same between the two instruments. And it has the same position in the mandolin family as the viola has in the violin family. It's a slightly larger instrument, slightly deeper pitch. The scale length on typical mandolin is 13 uh, and 3 quarters of an inch. The typical scale length on a mandola would be something like 16 inches. And, if, and going over to uh, the right, you have an octave mandolin. This is this one is a particular one. is a Weber Big Sky octave mandolin, uh, mand octave mandolin, and it is uh, tuned an octave down from the mandolin. So it's it again is G D A E, and uh, it has a couple strings that overlap with the uh, with the mandola uh, to to its le immediate left. And then going to the extreme right-hand side, we have the mando cello. This is tuned an octave and a fifth below the mandolin, or a fifth below the octave mandolin, or an octave below the mandola. And the and this instrument would serve the same position in the mandolin orchestra as the regular cello does in the violin orchestra. So there you have it. That's the mandolin family of instruments. These are some of my favorite toys here obviously, but I think that gives you an appreciation of the differences in the size and pitches of these instruments. So thanks for your time. Hope this was useful to you. Bye.